Club Express, mobile app for members. Members in a club or association with the Club Express mobile app have quick access to their organization's full website and access to many additional app-only features like channel-based live chat, direct messaging, and a location-based meetup tool. This video covers using your organization's app as a member. Administrators can learn more about setting up the mobile app in our companion video, Mobile App for Administrators. To find your organization's app, search for Club Express in either the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Some of the features we'll discuss in this video may not be activated for your club or association. If you have questions about the features available in your organization's mobile app, contact your administrator. Note that your organization may send notifications through your mobile app. You must allow notifications on your mobile device in order to receive them. Once you sign into the app, you'll be taken to the home screen. The app has two navigation menus, the three line or hamburger menu at the top left corner, which shows the mobile app menu and the full website menu, and the icon tray at the bottom of the screen. The mobile app menu will only appear if your organization created one and typically includes quick access to features that may not appear on your website menu. The icon tray includes quick links to take you to the home screen of the app, view and switch channels, view notifications sent by your organization, direct messages, and your member profile, where you can manage your contact information, view your member histories, and make payments. Since many of the features are channel-based, let's look at how to choose a channel. Channels are created by your club or association administrators to collect members together based on things like your member type, interests, chapter, and more. You'll be part of some channels automatically, and you'll be able to opt in and out of other channels at any time. Tap the channel icon to see a list of the channels you can access. You'll see a green dot next to your current channel. The channels you see in your mobile app can be customized through your member profile. To see your list of automatic and available channels, navigate to your member profile, and in the mobile app section, select the option to change your channel memberships. While you may be added to some channels automatically, there may also be channels you can optionally join. You'll see any optional channels under Available Channels. Tap the Join icon to join the channel. You can also leave optional channels you've joined previously. Note that you can't leave an automatic channel, but you can hide the channel from your active channels list. Tap the pencil icon for any channel to change the status to hidden, which hides the channel from your list. You can also turn on or off chat notifications for any channel. Back on your member profile, you can also edit your mobile profile, including your handle, avatar, and the default channel to use when you launch the app. When you select a channel, the chat and meets functions, as well as the event calendar, member directory, and polls will be limited to that channel. For example, if you switch from a channel for all active members to a channel for a specific committee and use the chat feature, the chat participants are limited to that channel. Let's explore the channel-based features of your mobile app. If chat is available, you'll find the option in your menu. Remember, when you open the chat option, you're in a chat corresponding to your selected channel. You can confirm the channel you're in at the top of the screen. Tap in the text box to bring up your device keyboard and begin typing a message. Tap the link icon to attach an image from your device or insert a link to a poll or event for that channel. You can like messages by tapping the smiley icon. Tap the flag icon to report a message to an administrator along with your reason. When you report a message, the original message is removed from the chat while an administrator reviews it. They may keep the message hidden or return the message to the chat with or without changes. For messages you send in the chat, you can edit the message and any images or links by tapping the pencil icon. You can also delete your message from the chat by tapping the trash can icon. Meets is a location-based meetup tool that allows you to share your location with other channel members. For example, if you're early for an event or just happen to be in the area, if Meets is available, you can use this feature to share your location, 
and see the location of other members of your current channel who are also using Meets. When you select the option, you'll be asked how long to display your location, the range you want to see other available members, and a status message to share when other members tap on your location. By default, your location is hidden until you choose to share it and update your position. You can verify this in the message at the bottom of the screen. Tap Update My Position to share your location with other channel members and to see who else is available on the Meets map. You can tap any location icon to show the available member's name, avatar, status message, and mobile number. Quickly turn off your location by tapping the visibility icon at the top of the screen. You can also update your location details by tapping the Meets menu icon. Your organization's calendar will also be filtered by your selected channel, so you'll see events linked to that channel. You can navigate your calendar the usual way and even register and pay for events from the mobile app. If your organization allows it, you can also add a quick event to your organization's calendar for your selected channel by tapping the Add Quick Event button. Enter the appropriate event details, then save your changes. If your organization requires approval for quick events added by members, you may not see the event on your calendar immediately. The Polls feature is also channel-based, and you can create mobile polls to send to other members in the selected channels chat. The last channel-based feature is your member directory, and will display all directory entries for members in the selected channel. Remember, each member may have selected a different visibility setting, and some of their contact information may be hidden. Your organization's mobile app may also include direct messaging to allow you to exchange messages with other members. These messages are private and cannot be accessed by an administrator. They're only visible to the participants in the conversation. If direct messaging is available, you'll see the icon in your icon tray. Tap the icon to visit your message inbox. Your message inbox is where you'll find all your conversations, message requests, and where you can manage your blocked contacts. At the bottom of the message inbox, you'll find links to view your message requests, blocked members, deleted conversations, and reported messages. Before you can exchange messages with another member, you'll need to send a message request and wait for them to accept it. Similarly, when another member wants to send a direct message to you, they'll first send a message request, which you'll need to approve in order to exchange messages with them. To send a message request, tap Create a Message. Search for the member you want to contact using the Member Selector. You'll only see members who have successfully logged into the mobile app on their own device. Select the member, then send the request. If you want to send a message to a member already in your contacts, check to see if you already have an existing conversation with that member in your message inbox. For requests you've sent, you'll see the option to withdraw your request in your message inbox. For requests sent to you, you'll see quick options to approve, ignore, or block the request. Tapping Approve for a request sent to you notifies the sender and opens a new conversation with that member. Tapping Ignore removes the request from your message inbox. The sender won't be notified that you ignored the request. Tapping Block removes the request from your message inbox and immediately blocks the member. The member won't be notified and won't be able to contact you further. You can manage both your message requests and block contacts at the bottom of your screen by tapping either link. In Message Requests, you'll see all requests you've sent and received, as well as options to approve or block previously ignored or accepted requests. In Blocked Contacts, you'll see a list of contacts you've blocked and contacts who are not blocked. Tap the check mark for a blocked contact to unblock them, or tap the block icon to block an active contact. The member won't be notified that you've blocked them and won't be able to send you further messages. You can exchange messages with an approved contact in the usual way. In the message inbox, tap a conversation to open it, then tap the text box to bring up your device keyboard. Your messages can include emoji, links, and images. 
Tap the Group Contact button above the message pane to name the contact or group. Tap the Delete icon to delete the conversation. Deleting a conversation moves it from your message inbox to deleted conversations. You can visit the Deleted Conversations screen anytime from your message inbox to restore the conversation. You won't receive any notifications for a conversation you delete, and all the other participants in the conversation will be notified that you've deleted it and won't see any new replies. Like chat, you can react to messages, report messages, and delete messages you've sent. Tap any message to bring up the available options. Note that because your direct messages are private, reporting a message moves the message from your conversation into reported messages, but does not send the message to your website administrator. You can visit the Reported Messages screen at any time from your message inbox to view or restore messages you've reported and view messages of yours that have been reported by other members. You can also create group conversations using direct messaging. When you select Create a Message, choose more than one contact from your list of contacts. If you want to include a member you've not sent a request to, you'll need to establish contact prior to including them in a group message. Note that other members in the group don't need to have approve message requests from each other in order to participate in the group conversation, only with the host. In group conversations, you'll see one participant's name followed by a count of the members in the group. Tap the three dot menu to view all members in the conversation. If you aren't the host, you'll see a star next to the conversation host's name. Chat, Meets, and Direct Messaging may also be available on your organization's desktop website and will function in the same way. If you aren't sure which features are available, contact your website administrator. Note that in order to access and use direct messaging from your organization's desktop website, you must have the mobile app downloaded to your mobile device and have successfully logged in with your existing username and password. Once you've logged in on your mobile device, log out of your desktop website and log back in again. You'll see a link to direct messaging in your member profile widget. And in your member profile on your desktop site, under your website functions. From here, you can create, exchange, and manage your conversations as you would in your mobile app. So now you've learned how to navigate your mobile app and all the ways you can communicate with other members in your organization. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.